just heard from Nathan Tusker, who is a man whose music is known throughout Australia and the world. That's right. Nathan Tusker, who just played for us, uh, accompanied with the little drummer boy, I, will, <laughs> I won't forget to add, is an inspirational singer and songwriter whose music is quickly becoming well known. And it is fantastic to have you here with us, Nathan. I understand that you've got this great CD, uh, Must Be More. Can you tell us a little bit about this? Uh, what would people find? I've never heard it myself. Yeah. What would they find on it and how is it put together? Well, hopefully songs that are full of the truth about Jesus and are uh, recorded as excellently as we can. Uh, we spent three months in Nashville last year recording with some of the great Christian musicians and producers. A guy called Charlie Peacock worked on the album with us. Mm -hmm. And so we basically put a, uh, an album together that hopefully encourages people. Uh, if you don't know Jesus, you'll hear a bit about him and be encouraged to seek out a relationship with him. If you do know him, hopefully it will uh, strengthen your understanding and uh, your knowledge of his love for you. That's my goal for my albums. Does it fit into any specific genre of music? Wow. Uh, I'm like broadly, it's the contemporary Christian music world. Uh, as you can see, I'm an acoustic guitar player, so a lot of my music is kind of acoustic pop rock kind of uh, thing. So. Yeah, it's hard to, to box it necessarily, but yeah, definitely contemporary Christian music. You were saying to us that you were at the conference last night. Mm. What's, uh, what stuck out to you? What was a highlight for you? Oh, wow. Uh, I loved seeing Israel uh, play and lead us in worship. That was just astounding. Yeah. I yeah, haven't seen something like that for a while. And uh, really, it inspires you. It inspires you to know the God that we're worshiping. Uh, I was amazed. Speaking of inspiration, how, what inspired you to get into music and when did you start? Uh, I started just after I had left high school. Uh, I saw how music is a powerful way of communicating uh, to us. I'm amazed at how songs stick in my head that I listen to in the car and I don't even know how they got there, but they're there. And I thought it would be great to be able to use music to be able to share something of the truth uh, about Jesus, to speak to things that are bigger and deeper and better than what this world uh, offers. And so that's how I got into it and it's kind of seen me travel around Australia and a lot of doors opening throughout the rest of the world now. So. Great. Yeah. Contemporary Christian music has really gone on this uh, wild journey over the last you know, number of years and mm. you know, there's two polarized extremes where it's exclusively Christian uh, and then you know, the more crossover um, mm. you know, st style artist. First question, where do you see yourself along that uh, spectrum yeah. and where would you like to see Christian music moving forward in the next uh, 10 years? Wow, uh, I am very much at the, the Christian end of it as far as being explicitly Christian. All my lyrics are attempts at expressing something about the truth. Um, I, I guess my goal is to be truthful and to do that as excellently as I can, which kind of means that I can be at my end of the spectrum and someone else can be at the crossover end and we've both got the same goal, to be truthful and to be excellent. And I think that's what God calls us to. It just so happens my art is explicitly Christian but that might change. I might write songs that aren't, and it doesn't mean that I've changed my, my view or even uh, become crossover necessarily. Yeah. Well, those are terms that kind of are helpful, but they often box people a little bit. Yeah. And you're one or the other. Right. Uh, I know a lot of crossover artists in Nashville who I spend time with, mm -hmm. and they are just Christian guys, you know, trying to live the truth and trying to be as honest as they can be and do it where God's placed them. And, yeah. uh, I think that's, that's the best you can hope for. That's the goal. One of the things that Hillsong, a core value, is uh, doing everything with a spirit of excellence. Mm. Talk about how uh, the spirit of excellence has impacted what you do, the skill of your hands. Yeah, sure. I spend a lot of time um, rehearsing, playing, practicing, uh, reading as well. Obviously, I'm trying to sing the truth. I want to make sure that I'm informed, and so I study my Bible a lot, yeah. uh, so that what flows out of me is, is truthful. Uh, and then we go to places like Nashville to record, yeah. and we seek out friendships with guys like Charlie Peacock, who's yeah. produced Grammy award-winning albums. He's phenomenal. And get him to be involved, because that's, that's stepping up to the excellence. And the people that play with us are excellent. You heard Tim playing the drums. Yeah. He's a pro session player around Sydney. And, uh, so he's a little bit more than the little drummer boy. <laughs> he is, but uh, he doesn't mind. He's, he's <laughs> one of the most humble guys I've met. And uh, yeah, but that's kind of part of it, is actually seeking out to be as excellently as you can be yeah. where you are right now. Yeah. And we continually trying to push that boundary. Now you're based in Sydney, is that correct? We are, yeah. Where, where's your local church and how important is that to you? Yeah, well we're in a community church out near Kellyville, uh, about oh, a kilometre away, oh okay, about a kilometre away from, uh, from Hillsong. And a lot of people ask me, you know, why aren't you in Hillsong? And I, 
I, I love Hillsong and got a lot of friends uh, who go there. Um, but at present, we're in like a community of 40 people. Right. And so they know where we are when we travel. We get to church about once a month because wow. we're on the road around Australia a lot. Right. And uh, they know where we are, they're praying for us. Mm. And uh, that kind of works for us. We play a lot of really big churches around Australia and the world. Yeah. That's nice going home to a little congregation yeah. and, you know, keyboard and flute, I think, is the, you know, our worship kind of uh, section. But yeah, it's, it's real and honest and we like that. Oh, that's fantastic. Yeah. Well, we're going to go to a commercial break in just a moment, but can you predict for us, is Italy or France going to win the World Cup? <laughs> oh, wow. Well, it's really hard not to want France to win, I think, after Italy uh, took us down. That's, you know, I feel that, that pain and, uh, yeah, I think, um, I think my manager wants Italy to win and I want uh, France to win. I don't know what's going on there. <laughs> but, uh, we'll see. Thanks yeah. for coming in today. It's a pleasure. So much, Thanks for having me. We'll be back right after this break.